What is going on everybody? I hope everybody's enjoying their week. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you all. My name is Black Capino the Apple Guy. Please smash the subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss content when I drop it. And today I'm going to be installing these. These are my new RGB fans. These are the Corsair. These are uh, SP140 RGB Pro fans. Now, if you're not familiar with these fans, I actually did an unboxing of it, which I have a link in the description below. But I'm going to be installing these on my PC. Now, I actually had the way I was going to do it was I was actually going to have really uh, put one up on the top and one on the bottom. So basically, my my case has the ability or has the uh, allows me to have more than three fans, which is what it originally comes with. I can actually put in four fans depending on how I do the layouts. And originally, what I was planning on doing was I was actually planning on putting an RGB fan up on the top and then an RGB fan in the front but unfortunately that just when I thought about it it just didn't make sense because I already got a non RGB fan in the front of my uh, case so basically would have one on the top that's an RGB one in the front that's an RGB but then I have another one that's a non RGB fan so it would just it wouldn't be really unified so I came up with the I just decided to well in that case I'll just remove the fan that's in the front and then just have two RGB fans in the front and then I will have the RGB Cool Master, my Cool Master uh, RGB fan, which is cooling my CPU in the front. And then I can buy individual for both the top and a 120 for the rear case. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing an installation of these two fans. And uh, like I said before, this isn't like my first time actually ever doing anything like this. So this is going to be completely unedited, at least most parts of it will be, but it will be completely unedited and I'm just going to kind of show you what the inside of my PC looks like and what I mean by replacing the fans and where I plan on putting them. So Okay, so basically this is how my fan system works inside my CP or inside of my PC. I have one fan there, I have a 120 millimeter there, and then just up under here that is another 140 millimeter. Now, what I originally was going to do was just have a RGB light fan here, RGB fan there, and then a non-RGB, this is my normal fan, and then the 120 here. But then it just didn't make any sense because this is an RGB fan right here. This Cool Master is my RGB fan for cooling my CPU. And it just didn't make sense for me to put an RGB fan there, an RGB fan there, but then have a non-RGB fan here. It just seemed kind of weird because it really wouldn't be uniform. It'd be just color, no color, color, color. That just seemed dumb. So I thought it would just be easier for me just to leave that as it is. And then I'll buy another one for that one and install the other two right here. As you can see, it's fairly easy. And again, if you're not familiar with the fans that I'm going to be putting in, just to click on the link down below for that. So it's pretty easy to put fans in on this. As you can see, in order for me to simply remove this, all I have to do is just simply from the bottom, there's a little hinge here. I can grab this, lift up on it so slightly. And as you can see, that just simply pops off. And then as you can see, there are screws here, here, there, and there. And then I have screws here and here, here. And then all I have to do is take, when I'm done with installing the fans, take this, which is the controller, and stick it onto the back unit, or stick it somewhere on the back paneling of this computer. So, but for now, we're actually going to be doing is going to be removing this fan first and then install the other one. And again, like I said in the previous video, which I, um, the previous video, when it comes to installing fans, it's just having to know which way to put them. Because again, typically with these fans, um, there's a certain airflow in the way they go. So typically with, with um, different types of brands, I'll usually have, again, a certain way of air flowing or showing them airflow. So on my fan right here, at least one of them should show it. So as you can see right here, there's little arrows for showing you which way it goes and which way it mounts. So typically with most manufacturers, they'll all have that kind of same way. And it's just simply just having to know which way to put it. Otherwise you'll end up putting in the fans backwards and you end up either, you know, generating more hot air and very little fan air comes out the other way. Otherwise, you just want to really want to have good airflow when it comes to this. So, like I said before, um, spin here, and there's a spot here for that. And then I will be putting in another fan in the later video um, for the top one, and then one for that as well. 
but we're going to focus on these as these are both 144 mil or 140 millimeters. As you can see, this is more capable of fitting in there. We're simply having to put this end screw in and then wire the controls in through the back. So we're going to get on that now. Now, before you start, you want to make sure you have all the correct tools for doing this. And really, the only thing you really need is just a Phillips forehead, preferably one that was magnetic or one that was automatic. That way, you don't have to sit there and tighten it, loosen it with your hands. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this, see which way the fan, which way the fans go, and then install them, and then run the control through the pad. Now that you see that I've got the fan out right here, all we have to do is to simply find where the power cord or the power cord for this is and just simply pull it out. This, this is my controller. I can stick this right there and all the wires will run straight through it. As you can see, I finally got the fan out and again, I want to make sure that when I put this one in that I'm putting it in the right way as this one shows the airflow going inward that my rear fan is the exhaust. So this is the intake, that's the exhaust. So as you can see, Again, if you're not sure, all you have to do is just, when you, before you pull it out, look at your uh, fan. Again, you'll notice because it'll have the arrows on the top, you probably won't be able to see because the camera probably can't focus on it, but there is an arrow um, facing forward and one facing sideways. Basically, this is, the, this is the intake, and all the air gets circulated out that way. So basically, all you have to do is just look for the one on this one, which is the same. So line them up the same way and then that is literally all you have to do as you can see that's how it goes in so all I have to do now is simply just take my screws and screw them in one at a time and then take the controller and then this is just plugged into the SATA power port so one of these will go into the RGB headers which usually it will tell you on it it will say RGB so this will be the RGB hub so this goes into your RGB headers. Again, if you're not sure, all you have to do is simply uh, look for your uh, look for your motherboard manual online, or unless you already have one downloaded onto your computer or onto your iPad, and then just simply look. And then again, it'll always come with a manual. And although the manual does seem like it doesn't really give you a lot, it gives you um, specific enough for you to know exactly what it is that you need to do. And again, like I said, it's just. A little time consuming. Normally, it would take you about 30 or 40 minutes. It really depends on the size of your tower. This is a mid tower, so it's a little bit smaller than a full tower. So, um, obviously, the cords are a little bit more uh, compact. So, simply just having to figure out where they go, and then that's it. And then, really, the only thing you have to do is simply just plug this in to the USB port on your motherboard. So, there'll be a USB port on the bottom of your cord, and I'll actually show it to you here in a second once I'm done uh, screwing in the fans. But again, like I said uh, in the previous video, it's always good to keep the manuals. And again, obviously you have YouTube videos to look at, but what we're going to do first is we're actually going to plug this in, and then I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this on the panel. Because again, it's not a very big panel, but I do have space where I need to plug these in. And then I just take my other one, and then again, this one, this will tell me the same thing. And again, this has the same exhaust pattern. This will be facing up and outward. So again, when I put these in, it will be the names facing outwards and the that facing inwards. And then they're like I said before, they will always be labeled. This one's going to tell me to to the RGB hub. So basically, all I do is take this one, plug it in the RGB hub. And that is pretty much it for how that works. Just that's all I have to do is just plug this into the RGB hub, and I am good to go. And um, that's it. You, get, you want to know your fan size. The, um, if your fan doesn't accommodate for a one, if your fan doesn't accommodate for a 140 in the middle, but only the top of the back, um, or a 120 in the middle, you can't do a 140. Um, it's best to try to not force it in there because then you could damage something in your case. We really don't want to do that. So all we got to do is just simply just line up the holes. Both fans are now installed on here. Now eventually I will replace the top one um, when I can find a uh, another 140 fan and then replace the 120 when it's done. But so now that we're done with that, now all we have to do is basically 
take the cords that come with this and then thread them through. And then I just gotta find a spot to stick this and then plug this into the side of um, the SATA power units and then run this through the arm, through the bottom somewhere and then plug it into the USB 2.0 in the motherboard. So again, like I said, it's not hard, it's just, you know, time consuming. So as you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to, but I'll try and pull on the cords a little. As you can see from here, I ran them both through there. So if you can use, if you can hide most of your cords, it's best to hide them as best as you can, where you can. And again, I have this cord right here that I accidentally disabled, that I accidentally pulled. That's actually a fan cord that I need to plug back in for that one. But yeah, once that's in, then again, all my cords are, as you can see, right here. So what I'm going to end up having to do is I'm going to end up plugging this fan back in or plugging one of the fans back into its fan controller and then we're going to connect this into that and then that's how that's going to work. Let me take the side power and then that's all I have to do. As you can see, um, actually you probably can't see it because there's no light. So. There are two USB ports right under the where it says crucial and then it looks like a little PCI slot right there. Then right below or behind the little the cord that's plugged into something I got plugged into. These two little black junctions that are right under it, right there, just under it. Uh, hold on. So these two junctions, uh, right there. So where my finger is at, let's try it this way. So uh, right, and my finger keeps getting in the way. But um, let me see if I can focus the camera on it. So those two black pieces right there. And I got my camera solely centered on, right under the PCI slot. That is where I take my uh, USB plug-in for or my internal USB plug-in for the. Um, so as you can see, right there, those right there. That is what I'll be plugging in the RGB controller into. It just requires a USB internal 2.0, which is those two pieces right there. Either one is fine, depending on how I power depending on where I plug in the, or where I mount the cord, as you can see where my finger is at. So just right to my finger right there, that is a USB controller. I just simply would just plug one into that, and then that's generally it. And then once I got that set in, just simply managing the cords. And then once that's done, then we're gonna go into setting this, putting this all back together, and then turning them on, so. Now that I got the cords, minorly managed in terms of it works fine. Now all I have to do is take my control panel, stick it up on the panel and then just do all the connections and that is pretty much it. So we're going to go into plugging in the USB into that. Again as I showed you before all I have to do is just run it through the bottom and then just connect it and then that's it. Once I have that connected all I have to do is tape this on. I just want to make sure I have enough uh, slack so that when I need to pull, I need to pull without having to worry about plugging it in and then doing anything else. So I've already got the setup portion of this plug in. So we're just going to take this piece and run it through the bottom. And then all I have to do Simply just turn this on its side and then plug that in and that is that. And again, you always want to be careful on anything that's something hanging outside of your case that you don't accidentally smash it because then, well, there goes a brand new piece of equipment that you're going to have to buy another new one of. So.
Like I said, this is going to be mostly unedited for most of this, so I'm just going to take this and we're just going to plug this into one of the USB ports. And then that is generally it. And um, we'll put everything back together again. Now, as you can see, it is plugged in right there. It's the red wires, so you'll know when it's in because I got to just give it a firm little um, push, and then you just tug on it a little. If it comes out loose, if it comes out, that means it's not all the way in, but everything is plugged in. Now, as you can see, it's plugged in. Now, all we have to do is just take the mounting harness, plug in the two fans, and then get this thing back together, and then once that's done, then we'll turn this on and then I will show you what it looks like with the RGB lights. They actually work. They're on. That is impressive. I honestly didn't think that they would actually work. So what's going to happen is that I will activate the ICE program or the program that comes with it and then all I have to do is just simply um, coordinate all the colors so that they all match the colors of my green light because again this is a meshed front end so you can't see it from there but you can't see it from the back so we're going to do that really quick and then once I'm done with that then I'll show you how everything is pretty much in unison so what we're going to do is we're going to go into my computer go into the window settings and from here I'm going to type in ICU which is basically the program app that I'm going to be using as I mentioned before using this on my mouse it changes all my colors to the colors that I need it to so as you can see it shows the core and it should show the motherboard as well and as you can see my color on my mouse is green so I would simply just go into selecting the light core and then from there it's just lighting setup and as you can see different colors so um, it just depends on how I want to do this so we're going to do changing the light colors to all green I don't want wave I don't want the wave colors so I guess it's just instant lighting disable instant lighting so I guess um, yeah and then it's just I guess selecting which light it is I suppose and um, I guess they only come and um, well I guess it's all green so as you can see with regular lighting it's all green I just have to once I'm done set it up and then that's it and that is literally all you have to do when it comes to installing your fan like I said before it is time consuming it is a pain but all you have to do is just make sure your fans are running and that's it so again I want to thank everybody for watching this video it was a little long and um, like I said I'm only going to be editing out a little bit of this um, just so you know it's not a lengthy long video but that's pretty much it so again I want to thank everybody for watching my video and again, my name is Black Pino the Apple Guy, and have a great week.